Investigators are working to determine what caused a deadly crash at a DeKalb County air show. And they're in the early stages of figuring out how pilot Greg Connell crashed Saturday afternoon at DeKalb Peachtree Airport. Channel 2's Nicole Carr is live at the airport in Chambly. And Nicole, people there are still reeling from the accident. I mean, you can only imagine for people who witnessed this. I was speaking with an employee in passing this morning, and he told me he remembered opening the gate for the ambulance to come through and rush to get to Greg Connell and, and help him out. And then beside us, you see the most poignant reminder of what happened here Saturday afternoon. Of course, the flags at half staff, the airport uh, didn't hesitate to do that as soon as this happened. This, of course, is a scene that will be hard to shake for so many people who witnessed the air show crash Saturday afternoon. And we've stopped this video in the moment before Connell's crash. Uh, we see the aftermath in these images as emergency responders rush to extinguish the plane. Connell was an experienced pilot from South Carolina, nearly 30-year vet. And speaking with Channel 2's Matt Johnson, Connell's flight instructor says he observed him uh, trying to pick up airspeed as he made that downward pitch, but he was too close to the ground for that to happen. The NTSB had this much to say about the work they're starting this week. We're looking at the man, the machine, and the environment. Obviously, the weather was good, visual conditions today, some wind, and we'll take that in consideration. And that investigation may take as long as a year to complete. What's left of the plane is now at a facility in Griffin, and the reconstruction or reconstruction is a part of this lengthy process. We're live in DeKalb County. Nicole Carr, Channel 2 Action News. Nicole, thank you.